Hi students, let's continue with the scheduling technique. So in the previous video, I have given a in, uh, basic introduction regarding what exactly the scheduling is and what is the static scheduling. So if you didn't watch that video, first go and watch that video, then come to this dynamic scheduling. Then you get a clear clarity on what exactly the scheduling is. Okay. So why we are discussing this dynamic scheduling? Because this is one of the uh, technique for technique for improving pipeline processor performance right or wrong so the different uh, techniques for improving the pipeline processor performance or instruction execution phases and second is the mechanisms for instruction pipeline and the third one is the dynamic scheduling so dynamic instruction scheduling techniques Okay, so before going to understand the different dynamic instruction scheduling, let's give a let me give a clarity on what exactly this dynamic scheduling is. Okay, so first of all, dynamic scheduling is a hardware based approach. Whereas static scheduling, I already explained it is a software based approach. That means it is a compiler based. Okay, so our compiler techniques are used for scheduling or rearranging the instructions. So static means instruction is always scheduled by the compiler but dynamic means it is a hardware based approach suppose if dependencies are not known if dependencies means between the instructions if dependencies are not known or not known at compile time if it is known at the compile time, then no need to go with the hardware based approach. The software itself is going to modify the uh, instructions and it is over minimizing the hazards. But if dependencies are not known at compile time, we will use dynamic scheduling. Okay, so here what exactly this dynamic scheduling is doing here here the hardware rearrange the instruction execution the instruction execution to reduce the stalls to reduce these stalls while maintaining data flow and exceptional behaviors so why maintaining data flow and exceptional behavior also exception exceptional behavior so this is what exactly the dynamic scheduling students so here the in dynamic scheduling the hardware is going to rearrange the instruction execution. Hardware itself is going to rearrange the instruction execution to reduce the stalls. Whereas in the uh, static scheduling, uh, if dependencies are uh, known, the compiler is going to rearrange the instructions. But here, the hardware itself is going to rearrange the instruction execution to reduce the stalls while maintaining the data flow and exceptional behavior. And it simplifies the compiler also. It simplifies the compiler so that's why we are preferring the dynamic scheduling rather than the static scheduling so it simplifies the compiler now let me uh, explain the dynamic scheduling can be implemented by using two schemes do you know what are the two schemes dynamic scheduling can be implemented can be implemented by using two schemes that is two technologies we are using what is the two schemes one is scoreboarding and another is thomas law's algorithm thomas law's algorithm so these are the two techniques that we are using to uh, dynamic scheduling can be implemented by using these two techniques so what is the scoreboarding the scoreboarding is a technique is a technique to allow instruction 
I'm just giving an uh, introduction part of uh, the definition of the scoreboarding. Okay, it is a technique to allow the instruction to execute out of order to execute out of order when there are when there are no I'm talking about no structural hazards no structural hazards and no data dependencies this is what the score uh, scoreboarding is so scoreboarding is a technique to allow instructions to execute out of order when there is no structural hazards when there is no structural hazards and no data dependencies so no structural hazards means it's nothing but let me write no structural hazards means it's nothing but sufficient resource if sufficient resource are there sufficient resources and no data dependencies means then what is about no data dependencies no data dependencies means data hazards data hazards so scoreboarding is a technique to allow instruction to execute out of order when there are sufficient resources or there when there are sufficient resources or there when there is no data hazards or there okay so this is about the scoreboarding then what about the thumbs loss algorithm the thumbs loss algorithm it is a hardware dependency dependence resolution scheme so thomas law algorithm is a hardware dependencies relational resolution scheme sorry so these are the two different techniques that can be uh, implemented for dynamic scheduling so in the next video i'll explain what exactly the thomas law algorithm is and i'll take an example in the same way scoreboarding and scoreboarding example thank you